forgotten numbers here, so let's call the meeting to order. Are you going to take some brief notes? Yeah. Okay. So we'll call the meeting to order at official time. I have like 2 of 5. What time is that? 5 o'clock, exactly. 5 o'clock. Well, gosh, let's call it to, in order. Thank you, folks, for coming and braving the, the nasty weather. We, um, we did a principal search one time in April, and it snowed to be Jesus, and there was this lady came up from I don't know where, and she came in, and she really looked good, and we liked her, and we interviewed her really well. Next day, we were told, she said, it's April, you got so much snow on top of the mountain, I'm never coming to your school. <laughs> so we lost her. But it's, yeah, it's good to know before the first snowstorm. We're like the police chief in Winhall, whose wife saw Bear his first day, left the next day um, so we have um, you got we're calling the order five we have a quorum we have some visitors can you folk you know everybody so you can just get their names right Levy. Joe Levy, yeah. yep. and then Mike from the newspaper what was your name sir? <laughs> Dave? I go by Dave. Okay. Uh, Dave. Mm. What was your name? Mike Elbert he's from the paper and how, how did you spell your last name? It's E-L-D-R-E-D. E-L-D-R-E-D. So, you were around a long time ago. I was. It wasn't that long, it wasn't that long ago. ago. <laughs> um, it feels like Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about that with the governor the other day. Um, one of the governor's people, How remember when we did the thing at the the town hall in Wardsboro and all the kids want to know about his cars. What kind of car do you drive? What's oh, your yeah. favorite car? Uh, what kind of car is that? And I think he got asked four times to explain his favorite his car, his, his car or something. So anyways, um, several years ago, you know, we had a, a meeting and uh, several meetings and we, we uh, with Wyndham Central to look at how we would um, deal with consolidation that um, the state of Vermont was telling us we had to look into and do and Wardsboro, Dover and Marlboro actually had I don't know many meetings um, and we discussed um, forming a joint district and then we all had a vote actually two votes I think everybody had two votes with Marlboro um, and it was wound up just being Dover and Wardsboro and at that time um, we said that we would have three members from each town, three from Marlboro, three from Wardsboro, and three from Dover. And our population was pretty close. We had 1,124 people in Dover, which was 36%. Wardsboro had 900, which was 29%. And Marlboro had 1,078, which was at 35%. So we set the board at nine members um, with three members from each town. And we also, hey, how are you? So we're not really set up for this very well, so if you want to just find a comfortable chair or wherever, and we're just, it's kind of going to be more of an informal, informal discussion. Um, so that's what we did. And then uh, one of the provisions was um, that when the uh, census every 10 years, when the census comes around, we will look at, at our numbers. And when we looked at the census numbers, Dover grew quite a bit, Wardsboro didn't grow. so. Out of the six members, um, if we went strictly by our um, our articles of, of articles of agreement, then it should become four Dover members and two Wardsboro members. Um, it's worked so well with equal representation that we brought. Um, we actually discussed a with an attorney how to what we could do to make that work because we thought the three and three was working well. Um, so he gave us three or four or five different options and one of them that um, most of the board really liked was the idea of um, doing the same kind of system we have with three members from each town but what we would do is everybody in the two districts would vote for that person so there you can you only have one three members from Wardsboro three members that live in Dover but Everybody in Dover and Wardsboro would do, vote for not only the Wardsboro person, but the Dover person and vice versa. And it's called, I forget what it was called, somebody help me. Modified at large. Modified at large, thank you. Um, there was also one where you could, I forget, there was, there was a bunch of different, four or five different options, but 
um, we did meet, so right now our district clerk, school district clerk is Andy McLean, the Dover town clerk. But we also had um, actually the new Wardsboro clerk, not, is it Michelle? No, or is Michelle the old one? Michelle. So, you know, Andy talked with her, and this seems to work. It does present a couple issues with um, the way Wardsboro elects its, um, its board member. You know, you folks in Wardsboro have elected from the floor for years. You, we had to all elect by ballot the first time around, but we were also electing three people the first time around, and you had a four-year, a three-year, and a two-year term because and then everybody went to a, a three-year term, so we would elect one person from each town. So if with this modified system, we can also do that. Um, each year, there would be one person from each town being elected. It's just they would have to get a petition signed, which in wards where you folks never had to do that. You would just go, bless you. You would just have to, um, you just have to be at the town meeting, and somebody would have to nominate you, and you would have to accept. Um, I do know I went to some of your town meetings strictly Wardsboro before while we were talking about the merger and I remember because Dwight was one of them they went around the room and asked everybody to be on the school board and you couldn't get one person to volunteer and I think somebody suckered Dwight into it after the fact. That's pretty much how it works. There. Yeah. Um, so it would be a little different for you but you guys did have to do ballots the first time. Um, one of the problems with getting ballots is, um, and Mark is helping, trying to help us with that a little bit, is um, for some reason you need 60 signatures. So you need more signatures to get on the school board ballot than you do to run for the Senate or, or run for the House, I'm sorry, the House of Representatives yeah. in this district, <laughs> you know, in the Tover Wards River District. You need more than you do if you run in the West River Valley, which has more people. So. Um, it, it looked like maybe, um, and Mark could speak to that if he wants to, um, it looked like they just cut and pasted something and, and then it had the 60 people. So say they, who, who came up with that? The, this, that's what the legislation, the legislation. Right, the, 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 that's what we have to do, that's what yeah. the attorney found. They, 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 re, they rewrote the, the chapter that governs uh, K-12 education last year, last session. And in rewriting it and putting this modified at large option in, oh, it's just for the modified at large. It's only yeah. for it's only for modified at large, and it's only for elementary modified at large. That's why Lynn Lynn Gray does yeah. it. <laughs> so, but again, you know, I, I also have always figured if you know even sixty signatures, you know, if you go hang out at the dump in Wardsboro and the post office in Westover, um, you know, there were there was. Green record. I was going to say it's pretty easy to get 30 signatures in Dover um, at the post office <laughs> on a Saturday morning, um, and most of them actually can sign. I'm sorry, Rich. So the signatures have to be from the like if it's either town, both towns. You can okay, make so them collectively match. 60. Right. So it's not like we have to go to Green. Wardsboro and try to get 60 people. Okay. Or Dover, but you need they have. It's going to be a little tougher on the clerks because. Um, the petitions go to the district clerk, it's the school district clerk, which is Andy, but then he has to talk to Michelle to make sure that the people that say they're from Wardsboro are really on your checklist, and, and then the people from um, Dover, you know, it's easier for him to check that. Um, so, I, again, um, there, did that get proposed, or is that in the... Yeah. Um, leg legislative Council's still drafting a bill to, to change it back to what it was, which was 30 or 1%, whichever is less. So in Dover, that's roughly 14, and in Wardsboro, that's roughly six. But um, the bill hasn't been, um, hasn't even presented to a, a committee yet. It hasn't been drafted yet? It, it's been mostly drafted. They're, okay. They got a low priority bill, so. <laughs> it's, um, it you know, depends what the people in power want to see go first, so sometimes. So anyways, that is being worked on, but that, that is one of the drawbacks to this. Um, the other drawback is is it, it just going to create a little bit of um, extra work for the clerks because um, instead of just counting the ballots at one town, um, ballots have to be commingled. So you can't just like the Wardsboro can't count the Wardsboro ballots and Dover count the Dover ballots and then say, okay, we add them together. You have to mix them all up just like we did for the first election. And they, you know, Dr. Back has brought them over with, um, with your former town clerk. 
and um, you know dropped them in Dover, and then everybody counted them, you know, because they have to be commingled and mixed up. Um, so what we are thinking, but they, I'm sorry, what? I was just saying that sounds like a lot of work, but she's saying it's worth it. I said it's totally <laughs> worth it. it sounds like yeah, a lot it, it is a little <laughs> bit more work, but then that way too, you don't know. Um, it's you know. Yeah. And it, you, it was funny because I know for, you know, with being on Wyndham Central for a lot of years, like when they would have the, the Leland and Gray vote before it was a district, you know, like there was, there could be a town that really was upset about something and they would, they individually counted their votes and then put them, you know, they kind of totaled them up and, you know, there was like towns and carried the vote, you know, sure. so they had as many people or more than all the other, you know, New Fane. Yeah, yeah, so this just doesn't allow that to be Perfect. said that it's, you know, one group or the other, I guess. I, I don't know the whole real reason. Um, but so that's, that's the main reason. Probably. It makes sense. Um, so it's um, so what we had to do was, um, and it looks really confusing, so I brought a sample ballot because there's a lot of stuff with lines in it. So what we had to do was we had to take what's there now that what we voted on originally and we had to change it. So we have to strike out all the bad stuff that we don't want anymore and then we have to add the stuff we want. So if you look at it, the, in Article 1, the first two paragraphs in the three charts just get struck and they go away. So what you're voting is the members of the school, the board of school directors will be composed of a total of six individuals elected pursuant to the modified at large model board representations authorized by 16 VSA 711 subsection D2 and 730 subsection A2. Three seats on the board are allocated to each of the two forming school districts, Dover and Wardsboro, with individuals elected to fill those seats by a vote of the entire unified district pursuant to subsection 730 su section 730 subsection a2 transition provision the district shall implement voting under the modified at-large model for school directors as follows commencing with the 2023 annual meeting that will be the one we're having in April um, and each succeeding year thereafter school directors with terms that expire in that year shall be elected according to the modified at-large model so what it means is is that um, I'm not up for another year or two. I don't remember when I'm up, but you don't get to, I don't have to run again because we've got a new situation. It's just when my term expires, I have to run in both towns. I have to get sign enough signatures and then both towns vote for me, which will be kind of neat because I've never had anybody in Wardsboro vote for me for anything that I know of. So, unless they cheated. And thank you if you did, got me over the hump. Is there a Google choice for this one? Is there a what? Somebody, our neighborhood? No. no okay. I'm not just going to let them know that there isn't one. <laughs> there isn't one. There's no one. There's no one. No, we, we want to just do a live meeting because we last time it was on Zoom too and there's nobody joined us. So we thought it would be better to kind of sit and talk with people and have a, in a discussion. It is being recorded and will be on uh, BCTV though. Yeah. So ask, if, ask questions if you have any because then you can be on TV because he'll turn the camera on you and you get to state your name and where you're from. And maybe you'll be famous, maybe some producer will pick up on you and say, I want them for starting my new show. So anyways, that's Article 1 that we're voting on. Um, and Andy did say that it's okay to have a cheat sheet because, <laughs> you know, usually you have a ballot and you have two names or one name and or two names or, you know, pick one of two or two of four. This is really a little confusing. So it just comes down to the bottom, like yes or no. So if you like the modified at large, you have to vote yes. If you don't like it, if you like what we're doing now, it won't stay the same because if, if you vote no, then we need to, the board will, is, has to, because of the, um, because of the, the census, we'll have to change the board to a four people from Dover and two from Wardsboro. So. You can come on over and find a chair. Find a chair for hey, you. how are you? Oh, I don't know. You can't go that way anymore. You gotta come this way. <laughs> I think they close it off. Try to confuse people. So, can I ask a question? Oh yeah, yeah. ask so, what you want. We're very informal. So, um, just to make sure that I'm understanding. Tennille Cutler, Wardsboro. Um, so, when I'm looking at that, this vote is to say because I am. I'm happy to say that I'm for this. The format that is being presented. The 
where it stays three and three, but both communities vote. So that means I want to vote yes, right? Like I'm supporting what that's we, saying. We're not supposed to tell you how no, to no, vote. No, 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 I'm saying, yeah. I'm, saying yes I'm, I'm just making sure I'm understanding. Yeah. If I say yes to that, I'm saying yes, I want to see three and three, both communities voting. Correct. Okay, That's I'm just what making a sure. Yes, vote means. A no vote means you want to stay the way that was, which means that the board has to reorganize. Reorganize, and, and I'm going to share with other people, but I want to make sure that I was conveying clear import, like the information right. clearly. And that was one of the reasons why Andy said it's okay to, to bring a cheat sheet. You, you, can't, you can't wear a shirt that says vote yes right. to Article 1, but you can tell people to bring a cheat sheet that yes means. You know right. that we're going to do the three and three, and everybody right. votes, and no means we're going to stay where we are. Okay, perfect. Is that good with everybody? Yeah. That makes Thank you. So, are we okay with with Article One? And, and again, I, I know Sarah. I don't know if you saw it, but there it is. So this is the the sample ballot. This is what you're going to have. Okay. So if we're okay with that, there's no. You guys, it's you it's in the Deerfield Valley News also. Oh, yeah. Is every, you guys okay? Do you want to say anything from the board? No, we did a great job presenting what it is that we are looking to accomplish. Uh, and that it is a simple yes or no vote in order to move forward. And we'll take the will of the voters once that uh, comes out on the 28th after we count votes. But the votes on the Those 27th. on the 27th will count. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, and we'll get to that in a minute. I just, on Article 1, because there's, there's two articles. Are you, are you all set, Mike? Yeah. Okay, thanks. So that's Article 1. Article 2 confuses me a little bit. It's not bad, but Article 2 is we're striking the chapter that says we'll develop a budget for the FY20 school year. That was the initial school year that we had. Um, and, it, and we cross out election and board members will be conducted by Australian ballot in Dover and from the floor in Wardsboro. And we, we're replacing with election of unified district board members shall be conducted by Australian ballot at a warrant annual or special meeting of the district following the requirements of 16 VSA section 730 subsection A. Um, you know what? I gave you guys my um, ballot. <laughs> you want to read the next part? Sorry, Sarah. I'll give it back in a minute. Um, oh, I'm sorry. That's it. Yes or no? Um, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because if you don't know, I don't know how we get everybody to get together to to, oh, okay. to, to vote by you know because um, oh, right. then we'd have to no, you know I guess nominate from the floor. So we're this one. If you're voting yes for the first one, it's kind of important to vote yes for this one so that we can have the election. And then what we plan to do is 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 the votes have to be counted within 24 hours of the close of the election. Um, so what our thoughts are is that we would have an election the day before the polls close at 7 and then at a, a place determined, and, and I believe Andy wants to, and it's not written in here, but Andy will swap it back and forth just like we do the annual meetings, which I think has worked real well. We have it in Wardsboro one year and Dover the next. Um, then we would just have to meet at some point and count the ballots ahead of time. So we are asking you all to come out on... Um, February 27th and vote between 10 and 7 at your respective town clerk's office. So if you're a Dover voter, you would go to the Dover. No, they moved it. I'm sorry. I, I, I believe he was going to do it at the town clerk's office, but he's moved it to the town halls. And I believe Wardsboro's in the town hall, too. Um, and I will check that in one minute. Um, but you go to your respective polling place and you can vote um, from 10 to 7 and then the votes will be locked up and then the next day at 6 o'clock we're going to get together. Um, the school board's going to have a meeting along with the boards of civil authorities from the two towns and we're going to count ballots. Um, and it should be a pretty simple count because it's just two yes or no's and one's on one side of the paper and one's on the other. If you ever counted ballots, it's a lot of fun. So um, it really is. <laughs> the numbers don't come out right. So um, yes, Do oh, Town of Dover's Town Hall, Town Awards, where they're both at the town halls. So, and if you want to vote early, 
but not often. You can only vote early. Um, you can go to your town clerk, respective town clerk, and you can get an absentee ballot and fill it out and give it to them. You can also get them by mail. You can request them by mail, but the way mail's going, um, true story, I mailed something from Westover to a Westover P.O. box, and it took all of December to get to them. We mailed it in the end of November, and they didn't get it till January. So I didn't realize the post office was so large. <laughs> you had it addressed properly? Yeah, it was addressed properly. Did it leave Westover to go yeah, someplace else? I put it in the town. Right? It's it's in town. Behind something. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I was gonna say they're they're pretty good over there. Yeah. Yeah. I, not not Christmas time. It seems like. Um, anyways, so again on the article two, which is how we vote, we're asking that you you do if you vote for the first one, the second one seems to make a lot of sense. Um, and if you vote no and, and it's no on the first one, the second one doesn't matter. That makes sense. So for some reason, some, some reason the second article is voted no. Would the would we have the board have to get back together and, and create another article? Yeah, we'll have to figure something out. Okay. And I never asked what it was because I was just hoping everybody yeah. would understand. Okay. <laughs> All right. You got something? I uh, yeah. Polls are open ten to seven. Right on the twenty seventh. Yeah. At town halls. So are there any other questions? Did we all? Confuse everybody. Wait, town hall? Not, not no, town it's not town hall. I thought he, he said it. he was doing it the town office. No, he changed it. The wards were all right next door to each other. Where are the two buildings in Dover? Town hall is right across the street here, and town yeah. office is on 100. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, that means Andy has to be at town hall all day. That's why well, I thought he wanted work. to do it at the. Uh, I, I think it was going to be too much. <laughs> so, are there are there any questions or any comments or any thoughts or anything we can can answer ahead of time? I like this more like this is more like a town hall meeting than it is a. Yeah, it's been nice having people, live people, huh? Um, we should tell them the date of the school district meeting, since we've got yeah. people in them. Which is? April 25th. April 25th, the school district meeting. At the Wardsboro Town Hall. Uh, yep, and then the Wardsboro Town Meeting is April, no, May, May something. 13th. It's a Saturday. It's Saturday. But, yeah, it's a Saturday it is the in mid-May. Sorry, is the school um, meeting, is it also at 5 o'clock? No, that one's at seven. At seven. Yes. Because we're going to count votes at six, and then okay. we'll. No, I'm sorry. No, the, the, no sorry. that's. I'm sorry. The the annual meeting usually starts at seven. Yes. At seven. Yeah. April twenty fifth. At seven, and No, we had the one with the 10 two ten. years ago. Yeah, yeah. I think I was there. Yeah, 2021. Yeah. Did our meeting. And the first one was just going to go for the first one. It was, remember, it was right after the governor spoke. Mm -hmm. the, the, That's right. That's right. Um, I will, con Mike, I'm going to just confirm that, but I, I'm pretty sure Andy told me he moved it to the, well, to that, the town halls. If that's what he did, put on the warning, then we don't have a choice anymore. Yeah, well, he just, the warning just. I'll, I'll see what he said to the, to yeah. the legals. Yeah. Yeah, it's been in the paper the last two weeks. Yeah, I'm 99% I'm sure, sir. Is this the open forum question? Oh, no, it's been open forum the whole time. You can interrupt <laughs> um, any time you I want. Just, I wanted to know, there's the, Laura's running those meetings this weekend, upcoming weekend, for the uh, H258 bill. That's Yeah, we didn't, we just wanted to talk about that's, oh, okay. so there's, the, the special, there's, this is not a regular board meeting, okay. so we don't have an open session. I just was curious if, the, if any of the board members were going to be at those meetings. Or I will be. I'm happy to talk to you about it. Very but not not here. So it, no. I didn't know. I didn't know yeah. it was the open forums. No, no. We th this was born just to discuss this. Right, right. Sorry about that. That's okay. 
That I'm sorry, which billing? H two fifty eight. It's the uh, the uh, house version of H sixty six. Oh, it's the um the. Um, Laura's running some workshops around the different. Yeah, she's yeah. Doing yeah she's doing her, her office hours. That's the one to do them. the um to do the the vote on the the schools that you tuition to. Yeah, we can't talk about that, but it will be on the agenda for the next board meeting. We, we've set that aside, yeah. And so, the next board meeting will be on March 6th. Excellent. In Wardsboro, so. I'm sorry, if you guys all came for that, I, I really apologize. No, 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 we did no, Okay. No. It was just on our mind because I, there, I knew there's these sessions coming up this, this week. I just didn't know. Yeah, no, the, um, that's definitely something that is of interest. And in, in when I first saw the Senate version, I, um, I wrote a letter to somebody to just clarify it, and then I sent, and Kate and I worked with the superintendent the week before the, the um, school district meeting to set an agenda. I think you asked, no, somebody else, no, you had something else. If we're gonna for. go into the bill, we, we should go into it, because it's. No, I'm just saying, so it's gonna be on the agenda, so if you wanna come to that meeting. That's at five. On the 6th? No. It'll be 6 o'clock. 6 p.m. On the 6th. Yes. Put it on the text right later. No. Yes, yes. But remember, too. You may want to watch the news before rushing over because things are going to change between now and then. A lot. So. Like the time will change? No, things in regards to the bill are going to Oh, I see what you're saying. What will or will not go forward? It, it's really, so. it's really early on the legislative yeah, session to get real worked up about any bills. Okay. But it is good to let people know how you feel. A lot's going to change this week. And, and if it's in the House, you know, you talk to, you, you can send a letter to your representative. And if it's in the Senate, you can send a letter to your senators. Okay. Thank you. So besides that, so on the two, but on the two. Um, on the two budget, on the two ballot questions. Are you folks all set? Is there any, anything else? And then the second one is on how we vote. On how we vote, right? So we're right. voting that it would be easy. Well, e yes, e that, we, that we would. It would be preferable to be a ballot. Yeah. So that every, <laughs> everything's the same for everybody. Okay. It, it is a little bit of a change. Like you said, in, again, in Wardsboro, the first time around. I think when you got elected and Dwight got elected the first time, you guys, we, all of us ran. There was three of us in each I town. I got elected the first time. I got yanked off the street. <laughs> I got elected the next few times. We'll let you go. Know. It's not you. you. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're right. Because who was the third one original member? It was um, For the Rick, Rick Thorpe. Rick, no. Well, yeah, Rick, but Rick Thorpe. Barry. I thought Barry. Barry. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rick you guys had, um, yeah. Oh, my brain magician. Barry. Kerry Katie. Yeah. yeah. Myself and Laura. And then, yeah. And you had, um, who was the other person to for, for Barry? Kerry Katie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kerry Katie. Kerry Katie. Katie. Chris. She had to resign when she, when she got, got a judge to be a judge. That's right. That's right. You come the judge. Mm -hmm. It's on the car. <laughs> um, you folks, again, it's all, it's all for you all. So. No, that's all I wanted. Yeah, and it, it is a little confusing, isn't it? So thank you guys for coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there's nothing else, I mean, we don't, we can adjourn, and then you guys can talk all you want about anything you want. This is on the official board meeting. I'm going to go to Wardsboro fundraiser. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so if there's nothing else, folks, can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. No, Dwight. Give it to Dwight. Dwight, I'll second. He came all the way over here. Thank you, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And again, you, I really appreciate it. Does anybody want to? You guys want to?